All right, folks, welcome back. We're here with another attempt <coughs> for everybody today. Um, we're going to start off, as we always do, with going around our group and seeing who's joining us today. Uh, first and foremost, obviously, you guys know me, it's Mr. H. We are going to uh, go around and see who else is here. So let's start off with Miss Labuke. Are you here today? I am. Hi. How is everyone? Right on, right on. And Mr. I, how are you doing today? Good morning, everyone. I'm doing fine. And how you guys are doing? I'm good, Mr. H. I'm not Mr. H. Mr. I, that's me. Uh, Mr. Grafton, how are you doing today? Yep, all good. Yeah, it's a nice sunny day. Hope everyone's well. Beautiful, beautiful. And Miss Roland, how are you doing today? Doing good. Hey, everyone. Hi, right. Carrie. And then certainly, last but not least, we have Mr. D. Mr. D, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Right. Hey, good morning. Hi, Leonard. Good morning, bud. All right, folks. So we are going to jump right in and take a peek at our schedule here. So, ladies and gentlemen, home, our schedule today looks a little bit like this. We are going to start off with our calendar, as we always do. We are going to jump right into a question of the day. We are going to then go to a show and tell. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we're going to play our dice game that we've played a few times before. It is uh, the first to five game. Um, so we're going to explain that a little bit later, a little bit more. And then we're going to just jump right into our goodbyes. Now, a very quick reminder to all of our friends at home and caregivers that might be um, watching alongside your student is that at any point in time, please, we encourage you to pause the video, answer the questions, participate along. Um, again, the, the point of being on the video is that it's, it's learning at your pace. So feel free to pause or, or just engage in a certain chunks of the video uh, one at a time. So again, uh, adapt, adapt the content so that it suits you. All right, so we are going to stop sharing that and we are going to jump right in to our calendar. Let's find it. There we go. All right, folks, let's do our calendar. Yippee! It's May 2020. Let's make a calendar. All right, folks, it is May 2020. Let's make a calendar. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Awesome. All right, let's start off with uh, Mr. D. Do you know the full date today, Mr. D? Today is Thursday, May 7th. Yes, today is Thursday. Great job. May 7th. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Awesome, awesome. So, Miss Roland, if today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020, what will tomorrow be? Uh, tomorrow will be uh, May or Friday, May 8th. Friday, May 8th. Awesome, awesome. And Mr. Grafton, if today is Thursday, May 7th, what was yesterday? Well, yesterday was Wednesday, May 6th. You're right. Yes, Wednesday, May 6th. Right on. So, yes, friends at home, it is indeed Thursday. Thursday. May 7th. 7th. Great job. All right. So, as we do, we're going to talk about um, some special things that might be coming up for us this month uh, here in the chat. But again, at home, I always encourage you guys um, with your caregivers and with your family members to be keeping a calendar just to kind of keep yourselves organized and talk about some special things that might be coming up for you. So I'll start off today because today in Mr. H's house is a very special today. Today is my daughter's 15th birthday today. Very excited. What? Really? Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. So it is her birthday today. She's very excited. She's very happy. We are um, trying to make it. Frozen. The most of it. Um, 
we are very happy in this house to be celebrating that. Um, other Thanks. things that were special for Miss Grace is on last Friday was actually my mom's birthday. So that was exciting as well. Um, so we're going to go around the group now and see if there's any exciting things coming up for others in the group. Uh, so, for example, um, Miss Roland, anything exciting for you coming up this month? Um, well, on May 22nd, um, it will be mm. uh, a whole year that I've been in my new place. Oh, wow. Oh, oh that's right. That that's spring. Cool. Yeah, that's right. Cool. That's awesome. That yes. is, that's uh, an anniversary of sorts. Yeah. We've talked about that word before, an anniversary, right? A one-year anniversary. That's awesome. As well All right, as... Oh, um, sorry, there's more. I... Yeah. Well, as well as on May 4th, it was May the 4th be with you. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, had to. Yeah, Come on. To. There we go. Put a goofy face for that. <laughs> That's funny. Good one. All righty. Uh, Ms. Lebuke. How about you? Anything special in May 2020? Uh, on May 10th, Sunday, May 10th, is Mother's Day. So mm -hmm. on that day, uh, my mom's not with me anymore, but I like to celebrate that day, remembering her and making great new memories with my kids. So that's a special day. That is a, that is a very special day. That is very, very special. So make sure you... If, if there's a special mother or lady in your life, in your um, life. yeah, then certainly make sure you you, you sh uh, share your love and your your fondness for them on that day. Make someone. Um, okay. This, oh, sorry. Keep going. <laughs> I said, make someone a card. Yes. Send yes. them a letter. Mm hmm And that's coming up this Sunday, so in three days, really. Um, how about you, Mr. Grafton? Anything special coming up in May 2020 for you? Well, in May, there, there are no birthdays in my family or special days to mark. So, but mm. there are two things. I'm going to ramp up and do all my yard work in the next week. And it, it means that I have to go and get some big bags. But I have right a lot on. of stuff. So, yeah. And here's another one. So, yard work. That's in, That's going to be my big deal. It'll be an undertaking. Nice. But here's a sidebar on May 12th. That's Manitou's mm -hmm. birthday. And I think we're 150, right? That's right. We're 150 years old, our province. That's awesome. That is very yeah. cool. Awesome. Yeah, Good. right on. So um, maybe May 12th, I'll have celebration. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. All right, Mr. I, anything special for you in May 2020? Yes, I have a very special day this month. Uh, on May 9th, Saturday, my oldest daughter's birthday coming. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yes. Happy birthday to her, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Right on. Anything else this month, Mr. I, or is that the big one? Uh, that's the big one. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Right on, right on. And <laughs> who else cool. do we have in chat? Oh, Mr. D, anything special for you this month, Mr. D? Uh, yes, Mr. H. Um, it was my mom's birthday last Tuesday, May 5th. Oh, oh wow. wow. On Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, yeah. Holy moly, that's a lot of birthdays in the group today. Very. Yeah. <laughs> in, a, in a very short amount of time, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right on. Anything else, Mr. D? Or? Um, I think that's it. <laughs> that's it. Right on. So very big. So again, friends at home, I encourage you to take a peek at your calendars and think about anything special that might be coming up for you. All right, let's see. So people I've been noticing are getting outside a little bit more. This guy looks like he might be. Uh, oh no, nope, he's daydreaming about going outside. Well, I guess some people are doing that lately too. So <laughs> let's, let's stick with that. And folks, that is our calendar. All right, so. We're going to jump out of there. We're going to take a look at our schedule. Um, so that concludes our calendar, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to jump right into question of the day. All right. So 
So again, friends at home, I remind you that even though your name might not be on the question of the day wheel, that's okay. Just feel free to once you find out the question or at any point in time, once you kind of remember it, to shout out your answer to the question of the day. So question of the day today is, well, last one, it was what was your favorite gym activity because Mr. Erndon was, yes. But today, I think we'll, we'll follow kind of a similar kind of extra activities um, theme. And I'm going to ask, what is your favorite? Oops. Instrument. Okay. So what is your favorite instrument? Right. So if you think about all the instruments that we play at school um, with the lovely Miss Braun in our music class. So think about your favorite instrument. Okay. So you don't necessarily have to play it. If you do play it, that's great. But even which one sounds the best to you? Right? So, but what is your favorite instrument? Okay. So. Let's fill out our wheel. So we have me, Mr. H. We have Mr. Grafton. We have Ms. Labuke. We have Ms. Roland. We have Mr. D. And we have Mr. I. Perfect. So, friends, I am going to spin the wheel and we're going to find out what everybody's favorite instrument is. Let's go. All right, look at that. Looks like Mr. D, you are up first. Mr. D, what is your favorite instrument? Um, my favorite instrument is uh, flute. Oh, flute. Oh, that's it's cool. Did you ever play the flute, Mr. D? <laughs> Yeah, it's because it's the only instrument that I can play. Oh, right on. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's very cool. Do you do you own a flute, Mr. D? Yes, back home I had a, a flute when I was in high school. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, awesome. awesome. All right, let's spin that wheel. All righty, looks like Mr. I. Mr. I, what's your favorite instrument? My favorite instrument is the piano. Piano, nice. Yes, I love, love, love that. Right on, right on. All right, let's spin that wheel again. All right, Ms. Roland, what's your favorite instrument? All right, uh, so my favorite instrument is the bagpipes. The and, bagpipes. Oh, 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 oh. And, and right now, I am oh, trying oh. to learn the bagpipes, and you start off uh, with a chatter. So this is what I'm practicing on to learn the bagpipes. That's so cool. So you learn that first, and then they give you the bag, I guess, hey? Yeah, but oh. I'm nowhere near that yet. But <laughs> practice, practice, practice. That's awesome. Cool. That's I'm learning awesome. all sorts of new things with this question. This is good. That's awesome. All right, let's spin it up. All right. Mr. H, that's me. What is my favorite instrument? Um, to be honest, I think my favorite instrument right now would be a uh, guitar. You can kind of see in the background here, there's a couple of guitars hanging up. Um, my son is trying to learn how to play guitar. I can play a couple notes, <laughs> but we're trying to learn to get better together. So that's probably my favorite instrument, an acoustic guitar. All right, let's spin that wheel again. All right, Mrs. Labuke, what is your favorite instrument? Uh, my favorite instrument is also the guitar. We have at least three of them here. I can play a little bit. I, I can't say that I played in a long time, but I love listening to it. And I bet if I did pick it up, I could play again. Right on, right on. I like that answer. All right, last but not least, I think we know who it's gonna be. Mr. Grafton, Mr. Grafton, what is your favorite instrument? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love. I always love watching a band, and I always mm -hmm. like the horn section in any like big band. So I, I've always loved the saxophone, and I wish I, I could have played one, or maybe I could play one now. But the saxophone, That's and an instrument I can actually play. My favorite is the kazoo. 
because that's the only one I can play. <laughs> that's right. right. On. Hey, who doesn't like the kazoo? <laughs> right on. That is a good answer. That is a good answer. All right, friends. So let's take a peek at our schedule. I think that was a great question of the day. It was. We are going to X off that. And we're going to head on into show and tell. Now, today's show and tell, friends, is a is a quick one, but it's a very important one. OK, so today's show and tell was submitted by Mr. Bulo. So he has an, an outdoors lesson for us just around some safety. So we're going to try and listen carefully. I'll make sure that it's nice and loud. And then uh, we can have a quick chat, I think, afterwards as a group, a little bit about what he uh, wanted to highlight for us. OK, so Mr. H is going to bring it up here. All right, so friends, listen carefully. We are going to see what Mr. Buell has to say for us outside here, all right? Here's a tip for being outside for Mr. B. If you come across any water or ice, be very careful because it is spring, and that means all the water level is rising. So stay away from all of the ice and water. Mm -hmm. So friends, it's that was a quick video, but it's a very important one because more of us are more and more of us are going out for walks. We're exploring the parks and communities, um, and it is very important that we be extra careful around uh, sources of water, look like ponds, creeks, situations because we don't want to trip and fall in. It's not quite like a beach or a pool that we go to. It's not like Margaret Grant Pool. So those are unsafe kind of areas to be exploring is those those ponds. So make sure that um, we are mindful of our distance from those kind of sources of water. Anything anybody want to add to that that little lesson there? I, I have a short little story when I halfway through grade one. I yeah, I fell in the same river, cracked through some oh, ice no. and it was by pure luck I, I made it. And I, I still remember yeah. that moment. I was only six or seven, but I remember mm -hmm. the moment intensely it stayed with me my whole life um so the same river runs really fast if there's ice i don't think there's ice now it's gone but under the ice it runs really fast and it almost yeah i'll remember that one so the same river stay away from that one for sure yeah absolutely so that is a great yeah. example yes yeah, so yeah when you're like you're, as we're getting out more and we're going for walks, is to be careful around water, okay? That's part of the reason why we do go to swimming lessons is that we learn how to be safe with water, right? We learn how to float and to be careful and be with an, with a, an adult or a caregiver with us. So that's part of the reason why we do go to Margaret Grant Pool to learn some of those lessons. So that was a great little video from Mr. Bulo. Yeah, that was a good one. So we're going to check that off our show and tell us here. And friends, we're gonna jump into our first to five dice game. Um, just a reminder, this is the game where we race the robot and see if we can uh, be the first one to get five of the same number. So again, friends, for this particular uh, activity or challenge, um, feel free, we're, the friends in the group are gonna be answering the question of, of how many are on the dice, but again, feel free if you need to count on the spot with us and, and answer the question. And if you need to pause, just hit that screen, quick pause, and then take your extra time you need to count up those dice, okay? So we're all gonna be working together to see if we can get to five dice rolls here. All right, so here we go. All right, does anybody have a color preference? How about you, Mr. D, what color should we have? Sorry, can you say that again, Mr. H? Um, Mr. D, what color should we have? Oh, um, I choose a uh, color blue. Blue. Now, friends in the chat, can you hear the music that's playing? No. Uh, no, I can't. Good. It's quite loud, and I think it would overpower <laughs> our conversation. So I will <laughs> gladly not have you listen to that. All right, so we are going to go with dots for the friends at home. And you know what, Mr. H, I'm feeling kind of like a cactus. Cool cactus. All right, so it is our turn. So again, friends, we're going to roll the dice. It's going to give us a couple options, and we're going to count them out together. So I think I'm going to do the first one just to kind of give an example here. So I see one plus 
five more. So five plus one more, five, six. Six. So we're up to one in the six column. Okay. So it's that sneaky robot's turn. Let's see what he gets. Hello. He got a 10. All right, so let's go to Mr. D. Mr. D, let's see what you got to answer here. Ooh. Okay, five plus six is uh, 11. 11, let's see if he's right. Good job, Mr. D. And again, friends, as we're going here, just a quick reminder, if, if at any time you feel like the pace is too fast, hit that pause button and answer the questions along with us. We're all in this together to see if we can get one of these numbers up to five. <laughs> All right, here's that pesky robot. He got a seven. All right, so Miss Roland, I think it'll be your turn here. Okay, so we have one plus, I don't know how much that is. Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six plus one is seven. Seven, let's try it out. Great answer, Miss Roland. Woo! <laughs> All right, so he had a two plus a four and he got a six. All right, our turn, Mr. Grafton, let's roll it out for you. Okay. All right, well, uh, I see three plus two will equal five. Three plus two equals five. That's right. All right, we're filling out our columns here. Let's yeah. see what this robot gets. <laughs> oh, he's already got a second one here. Our turn, Mr. I, this one's for you. Yeah. All right, two plus two more. Two plus two is Four. You got it, Mr. I. Way to go. All right, so three plus five is eight for the robot. All right, Miss Labuke, this rules for you. All right, here we go. Oh. oh, okay. Well, I see a two and a one. So I'm going to start with the two and then count one more. Two plus one is three. You got one, it. Three. Good job, good job. All right, here's that robot. Let's see what he gets. Oh, five plus two more. He got a seven. Uh oh, he's filling up the chart. We gotta do what some better rolling here. Okay, my turn, my turn, my turn. Let's get a good roll <laughs> here. All right, so five plus four more. So five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Nine. Let's go with. Good counting. Good job. There we go. All right. Oh. One plus two. He got a three. All right. So back to Mr. D. Mr. D, let's roll a big roll for you here. <laughs> yeah, I see two plus one is three. Three. Well, let's give it a shot. Way to go. Oh, our second number. Way to go, Mr. D. There we go. We got an eight. Uh oh, this robot's a good roller. Mr. Mr. H has got some work to do. All right, Miss Roland. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I see we have one on one dice, and let's count the other dice. We have one two, three, four, five. So five plus one is six. Oh, right on, that's a great counting song. Oh, our second six, good news. Yay. <laughs> All right, you got another eight. Uh-oh, it's third eight. Oh, All right, Mr. Grafton, your turn. Uh, well, those are two big ones. I see a six first, and then I see a five. And if I add them up, 
I think it will be 11. 11, great answer. It was Ooh, back back 11. 11, pretty good. Okay. So three plus one is four for the robot. All right, Mr. I, this one's for you. I can see two, and uh, the other one is one, two, three, four. So two plus four is six. Right on. Ooh, our third six. Great job, Mr. I. There we go. All right, six plus four, robot got a 10. Mm. Ah. All right, uh, Miss Labuke, your turn. All right. Ooh. Okay, I see a four and I see a three. So I'm gonna count up from four again. Four, five, six, seven is the answer. Seven, good job, our second seven. Remember friends, oh, this is kind of like, we've done charts before. So this is a, a sideways chart. Oftentimes when we're making charts, when we're talking about our races and things like that, we do uh, vertical charts. So this one is coming out the sides, a little bit different, but mm -hmm. same idea. So six plus two is eight. Uh oh, oh no, he's getting close. We might, Ooh, we're in trouble here folks. All right, Mr. H's turn. All right, one plus two, so two, three, three. All righty, all right, so back to the robot here. Can't get an eight, no eight. Ooh, well, that's fine. Ooh. Six plus six, 12, 12. The biggest number you can get with two dice. That's a double up. All right, Mr. D. Five and one is equals to six. Six, good job. Oh, our fourth six, we need some six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so six plus one more, you got a seven. All right, Miss Roland, your turn. All right, oh, come on, let's. All right, so let's count this out. We have two and let's see what the other dice is one two three four five so five plus two so five six seven seven is the answer awesome counting miss roland it is indeed a seven way to go look at that our columns are filling out here Rosa. all right let's get this oh. snake's turn here Eesh. six plus two is an eight uh oh is that uh, bad news? Oh no! Oh, bing, bing, oh, bing. No. The robot beat us. <laughs> that is okay though, folks. It is all about having fun and working on our counting skills. <laughs> that is fine by cool. us. We had a good time counting, even if that robot snuck it out on us. That is oh. fine. <laughs> so the robot's name is Snake Eyes. We're actually <laughs> looking to play this uh, game at home. It is simply from the website ABC Yeah, and it is called First to Five. I can even add it in the link below. Um, but yes, it's a great game, uh, very straightforward, and it has a little bit of a race to it. So it is quite fun for us in class. Um, okay, so we are going to stop that game. Unfortunately, this pesky robot did take the, the victory today, but we'll be back again another day, I'm sure. Get him next time. We'll get him next time. <laughs> Um, so friends, let's take a look at our schedule here. That was the dice game, but we did take the, the L today, but that is fine. And we are going to just transition here to uh, a quick goodbye and, and so long for now. So let's go around the group, um, see if anybody has any parting words today. Uh, Mr. D, anything uh, you want to leave our friends with today? Yes, um, I just want to say that continue being safe and we miss you guys. Right on, right on. How about you, Mr. Grafton? Any parting words? Well, get up, son. Stay happy and healthy. And yeah, beyond that, keep on hanging there. Right on, right on. And Mrs. Labuke, any parting words today? 
Uh, just continue to be safe. Remember, wash, wash, wash your hands. Don't touch your face and try and get outside and have a have a nice little walk around your neighborhood. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. And Miss Roland, any parting words today for you? Um, similar to Miss Labuke, uh, get outside, enjoy the weather, but remember social distancing. So oh, yeah. we have to keep space from other people. That's awesome advice. It's very, very true, especially while, uh, you know, I know Mr. H, I don't know about you folks as well, starting to see more and more people are going outside, which is great, but that just means more and more people are um, at risk of getting a little bit too close. We have to still make sure even if there's lots of people getting eager to be outside that we're keeping our space. So I think it's great advice from Ms. Roland there. Yeah. And uh, Mr. I, any parting words from you? Yeah, I would say just uh, stay safe and keep follow the uh, social distancing and keep washing your hands and uh, don't touch your face uh, with your hands and just stay safe and healthy right on right on don't touch your face your hands another great piece of yep. advice um and from me that wraps up our, our group today folks i think it was a great group i think we all had a lot of fun today um and we will see you back around again next tuesday so have a wonderful week Bye, Have everyone. a wonderful Mother's Day. Remember, you. send your well wishes to an important lady, whoever that might be in your life. Um, that's a that's a cool day to do it. Okay, so um, that's all for now. Goodbye, friends. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.